In this video, we will go over how to take data that was collected with a GPS attached, data that was collected in a snaking pattern across a road, crossing a number of linear targets multiple times, how to pick those targets in RADAN7, and then how to export those results to overlay the results onto Google Earth. So first I'm going to open a file. This is data that was collected with a SIR 4000 and a 400 megahertz antenna with a Juniper Geo submeter GPS attached. So here is the data. You can see there's a number of hyperbolic reflections in here. Uh, this one right here is a waterline. Here is the waterline again. This over here is a drain line that we've crossed. This guy right down here is actually a deep, uh, deep sewer line that we'll see intermittently in the data. Um, but we're going to first start off by focusing on this water line right here. So first, so you can see how the data was collected, I'm going to click this location button. It's going to show us our GPS path that we took. So this is the beginning of the file right here. And it's collected like this. If I click the 3D button up here right now, instead of seeing a Z slice like you're used to seeing in Radan, when you click that button, instead you see there's the ribbon of data as we collected it. So I'm actually going to leave this open. I'm just going to resize this window. And I'm going to focus on picking this water line right here. So I'm going to go up to the 2D interactive tab. And we're going to do single point picking. All I have to do is print my cursor here. I left click my mouse and it prints this little pink dot. It uh, doesn't look like much right now. If I don't like where I put it, I can right click my mouse and it disappears. But I yeah, left click again, prints that right there. So then I'm going to go further through the data till I see that target again. And I said before that this is it right here. So I'm going to left click my mouse again. And if you look over here in the 3D data view, you see there this little pink line that just showed up. I can actually right click on this. And since I know it's a water line, I can make it blue, I can change the diameter of it. So I'm going to make it a one foot diameter. So make it somewhat more noticeable there. All right, so you can see by just by picking those two points, those two points have been added to the file and they've been connected. So I'm going to continue tracing this through. There it is again. Uh, you notice in the data here, so here it is again. Um, you notice right over here, the data is kind of grayed out. This data was collected back in the winter, um, kind of during a snowstorm. Um, so this data was collected here in New Hampshire outside our headquarters. Uh, we use road salt on our roads up here. So um, you can see spots in the data where the data doesn't look so good, where basically the road salt is um, entered through cracks through the asphalt and is kind of contaminating the soil underneath, making data that's not so great looking. There we go again. And a couple more spots here. is. And there it is for the last time. Um, 
so you can see this guy right here. So this right here is actually a drain line that's running through the data. So I wanted to start picking this. Um, what you want to make sure you do is you make sure you pick the new target up here. If you don't hit new target and you continue, if I just left click my mouse, you see it just made a right turn here to connect those two points. That's not what we want. So I'll delete that. Go to new target. And the target pick changes the name from rebar to rebar one. I can actually rename those after the fact, but I'm going to click this and put a little blue dot over there. So I'm going to now I'm going to scroll backwards through the data. Here's that drain line again. So lower amplitude than was before. It's being affected by the salt water contamination. So I'm just going to left click my mouse and there it is again. So I can, another way you can change the color of these targets and rename the targets. If I go to the home tab and go to tables, there's the names rebar, rebar 001. Here's the color. So I can, since this is a drain line, I can make it green. I can double click in here, call it drain. Water. You so here's the drain line again. I'm just going to hide the tables pane. I'm going to resize this. So I got a little bit more of the 2D data to look at. Again, there's the water line, sewer line. Here's our drain line again. Here it is again. I always make sure when I'm done picking a target so that I disable the picking tool so I don't inadvertently put a target pick somewhere. So here in right and across the top, there's a Google Earth tab. And then if I click Google Earth, there's KML file. So this will actually save the targets and the GPS path as a KML file, but here's Google Earth. So if I click this, Google Earth is going to launch on my computer. And we're going to zoom into New Hampshire, Nashua, New Hampshire here. And there's the road the data was collected on. And there's the water line. And there's the drain line and I can expand these over here. And if I wanted to, I could hide the GPS path and just have the targets in here. For the targets themselves, I could, there it shows water, drain. I can right click in here, go to properties. Make these wider too wide. But okay, so there's a bunch of options you have in Google Earth for resizing objects affecting the way they look. So this was a question quick video showing how we can go to from data that looks like this, how to use Radan to pick these targets to 
look like this and end up with a reportable product that looks like this.